What's going on, BFL fam? I'm Carlos. Please welcome Demi Rowling to BFL Studio. I'm very excited to be here. I've obviously watched Carlos for a very long time, and to be in his uh, his little fragrance lair. <laughs> <laughs> My lair, right? <laughs> Your lair is very cool to me. I'm like kind of just in disbelief. So, yeah, I'm very excited for the video that we have today. Which um, is mm -hmm. her top 12 Parfum de Mali fragrances. So yeah. keep it right there. Brooklyn fragrance lover. Brooklyn fragrance lover. Thanks so much for tuning in to BFL today. As always, I really do appreciate it and hope you're all doing great. So she and I just had an amazing weekend. Yeah. Sense Explorer was incredible. I'm still high on all the love and what have you. Yeah, me too. It was much, uh, not better than I expected, but better than I expected. Yeah. <laughs> like it was, it just much exceeded what to I To say was. the least, I totally, completely agree. Yeah, yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. And we met a lot of you guys that are watching. Yes. And it was just, Incredible, so yeah. I don't, I don't want to go on and on about it, but <laughs> if you could just feel the love that was in that room, yeah. it, it was totally, completely overwhelming. And uh, it was such a community, like it, it felt just perfect. Like, honestly, tomorrow she has an event at the Papan de Mali boutique. Yes. <laughs> I don't know when this video will go out, I'll try and get out for tomorrow, but it's on November 5th or 4th. November 5th at the yeah. Boutique and Meatpacking District. Yeah. It's from... Uh, 6 to 9 probably will go onwards, but... Um, it will. Yeah. Yvonne Jacqueline <laughs> knows how to throw a party, so... <laughs> yeah. If you're running a little late, like I am... You're okay. You're okay. <laughs> so let's get this video going. Demi Rowling's Top 12 Puff on the Molly Fragrances. Yes. There are a mix of male and, and female. Yeah. Yeah. But for me personally, I wear all of them. Like I don't, but that's me personally. I like to wear the men's, the women's, the f everything. So <laughs> I don't really care about the marketing side. I'll wear anything. So these are all my top, my top 12. And so do I, that's why. Yeah, you have to give me your opinion of what, like which ones that you like the most. Okay, sure. I would like to. I, I concur with your list. I, yeah, I coached it before we started. Yeah. So yeah, these absolutely. are actually mutual. Our top 12. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So let's get this video started. Demi Rowling's top 12 for Fun de Mali fragrances here at BFL. We'll start with number 12. It is Ojan. Mm -hmm. This guy right here. Apple cinnamon pine bottle. Okay. That's, that's <laughs> what I, that I don't even need to smell it. For me, it's like a sexy, sweet, don't you think like cinnamon, oriental, very, very, very addictive sort of smell. It's a very spicy, warm yeah. fragrance that there are certain fragrances that when you apply them, they just feel like yeah. they radiate heat. This yeah. would be one of them. And for me, I have to be in the mood to wear this one because it's mm -hmm. very, it's a very present fragrance. Yes. So you can, you can smell it when you wear it hundred percent. Ojan number 12. Number 11, we have something from the female side. This is Cassily. Cassily or Cassily, or Cassili, how I say it. How tomato, I say tomato, it. potato, <laughs> potato. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I love this one. It's. Um, like a, for me, it's I, I don't know if it's a bottle. I think it's like my brain, but it, it's very peachy. <laughs> to yeah. me, it smells like powdery, peachy. Uh, it's um, it's a little fruity. It's a little yeah. creamy. Yeah, yeah, creamy. It's sure. gourmandy-ish. Yes, uh, borderline. Yeah. And it's, it's definitely feminine, but a guy could pull this off. Yeah, yeah. But on the real, it is. It is on the more feminine yeah. side for sure, for sure. Especially out of everything that we have here, there's one more that might be. Uh, competitor, but yeah, number 11, Cassily. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, that's awesome. <laughs> At number 10, we have Godolphin. Godolphin, the sexy level. Did you know? I found out like there's a, I'm sure you probably already know, there's like a really famous basketball that wears it. No, oh, there's like, okay, there you go. A very, very, I'm sure every single one of you, especially men, would know this, this famous basketballer. He wears this fragrance. And it's like his his. Secret. Do you know who he is? I know who it is, but I don't think I can say. <laughs> Are you not allowed to? I don't think so. I think they like to keep it like. You know what I mean? Well, everyone knows that Rihanna likes uh, "Love Don't Be Shy" from Bacillian. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I don't want right. to. I can tell you. But okay, you'll tell me later I'll after the video. You. I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. So, Godolphin for me, the 
raspberry, the saffron, the leather, but for me, I'm usually, I hate leather. I'm sorry, I really am not a fan of leather fragrances at all. I don't like the dry, you know, that sort of intense leather fragrance. So for me, this is something that I like because it has that raspberry note, which sweetens it up, makes it a little bit more. It's very luxurious smelling. Yeah. yeah. And some people say that it smells exactly like Tuscan leather. I don't think it smells I, exactly like it. No. There's a resemblance, but yeah, whatever, yeah, that's yeah. neither here nor there. I like this fragrance and it's a lot, it pro projects uh, a lot more. It projects a lot more and it performs overall I better so than too. Tuscan, Tuscan leather. leather. Yeah. But I like that one too, but. Yeah, yeah, for me, I I do like Tuscan leather, but this one I much prefer. So <laughs> that's All just right. my, my thoughts. 12, 11, 10. Number nine is a recent release from this year. Yes. It is the red Slayer called Kalan. Sexy red bottle. Mm -hmm. I love red. I love Kalan. I smelled it a lot when I went to Cannes because mm -hmm. everyone was wearing it. Really? Like everyone awesome. had it on. And so I got a really good feel of what it smelled like on everyone's skin. And for me, I think it is fantastic. That's just my thoughts. It's spicy. It's got a freshness to me. It's mm -hmm. got a, it, it does have a freshness. I don't get the comparison with Bark Up Rouge. I'm sorry, I don't get the comparison at all. Maybe a little in the dry down. That's where I got it. But not not really though. Like it, I've, I've definitely smelled a lot more fragrances that have a much similar DNA to Bark Up. Not this slow for me. But so you enjoy wearing it yourself? Ah, uh, yeah, I enjoy wearing it. It definitely, for me, leans more masculine. I yeah. think it's much more masculine. It's got the woody, a little sweet, <laughs> spicy, but, <laughs> yeah. you know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. What's number eight, right? 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Eight. Eight is this beautiful black girl right here. Yes. <laughs> Athalia. 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 Now, this one took me a while to, like, kind of enjoy because i think it's a little bit more mature mm -hmm. like it definitely has a more mature feeling to it so like the the iris the orange blossom i think there's amber I'm, i don't know if i'm saying even the right notes in there it has incense yes, yeah, rose yeah, yeah, yeah. orange bitter orange yeah, iris yeah so for jam. me it's like a it's very powdery smooth um sophisticated smell like this would be something that i would wear to work like if i want to be taken very seriously and i also don't <laughs> Super. I also don't think that it's overly feminine. Oh, this is much no, more feminine. Yeah, a I guy could pull this off. hundred percent. I agree with I agree with you on that. Like, I don't think that this is overly feminine at all. So, yeah. All right, we're going through this quick as I always do. Number seven, we have Percival. 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 The freshie. I think that this one is like probably the best, most appealing fresh fragrance from the house. Um, I really enjoy this one. I know people kind of gave it a little bit of a hard time when it first came out because yeah. I, I agree it's, it's absolutely not the most um, unique DNA whatsoever. But for me, it's fantastic. It lasts a really long time. It projects really well. It's a great appealing scent to like everyone. Yeah, I always get noticed when I wear that. Do you? It never yeah. goes without fail that somebody yeah. says, that's nice, I like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's easily one of the most mass appealing fragrances from the house. So if you're not sure And that what's performs. Going, yeah, exactly. It has that's sick performance, saying. it really yeah. does. That's what I'm saying. Like it, the DNA is very uh, mm -hmm. simple, I guess, but it performs like a beast. So I think it's great. Number six, moving right along, we have this guy right here. This is Leighton Exclusif. Mm -hmm. It's the Flanker to the original Leighton, which yep. is a very popular fragrance. Yep. Oh yeah, house. yeah. Isn't it? It's like the best seller. Yeah. For men. Do you prefer the Leighton or the Exclusive? I kind of like Leighton. It goes back and forth. I like this yeah. one in the winter. Yeah. I love the oriental edge that they gave the composition. Yeah. Most people like Leighton in the winter. I like it in the summer. Oh uh, yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. For me, I I like both. That's the that's the hard thing about them because for me they they're very. They don't smell similar, but they definitely have the same. Yeah, they, the dry down on this is yes. pretty amazing. Yeah, I totally agree. It's a lot more rich than the original one. It's got a lot of a lot more depth, a lot more woodiness. The uh, coffee, coffee just, oud. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I really enjoy that one. Like you said, more in the cold weather. I think that's just whew, too much in the the heat. Quite thick. Number five is a criminally underrated offering from the house and i think yes and i've never actually talked about this one but i have to tell you guys i've wanted this for a really long time a very long time and it's just taken me till i've come to new york to get it it's another freshish yep. kind of oh, offering yeah. yeah i would say fresh for sure i don't think it smells exactly like but it's in the vein of amouage's in not into amouage's uh 
That's the other famous one. Yes, yes, that one. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah so for this me. is um it's fresh, it's spicy. Lavender. Lavender. Kind of mint, like it. Yeah, me, minty. Yeah. For me, this is like if you're uh, for me it's a little more masculine, but I still wear it myself, so keep that in mind. But for me this is like a man getting out of the shower, you spritz yourself with Dali. Like that is just <laughs> I was like, what's Dali? Hello, Dali. Dali, <laughs> it's in your accent. Dali. <laughs> She's for adorable, me, isn't she cute? I, <laughs> I think this is fantastic, and I've never talked about it because I never own the bottle, but I think it's, like you said, criminally underrated. Did I tell you that um, while we were on the panel on last on Saturday, yeah. I whispered in Stephen's ear, she's so beautiful. Aww, <laughs> you were like You were just like radiant, you're so beautiful, like a little angel. You're so kind. <laughs> Number four. Number four. It is Carlisle. Carlisle. Carlisle, Carlisle, Carlisle. Mm -hmm. This is kind of loved by a lot of people. Oh yes, yeah. I think for me, I, it's hard to say like, because I I always talk about like my personal favorites, but if I could say what I think of this fragrance, I think it's like the masterpiece of the house. Like for me, I, I, the, the scent, the composition, everything about it is just flawless to me. Uh, it's very indulgent, very smooth. Uh, the, the woodiness, the sound of wood, the patchouli, uh, it's got like a bit of like a vanilla sort mm -hmm. of like feeling to it as well, but I just I don't know. Like to me, it's just it has personality. Yeah, you know, it's not just boring. You know, but I think it's very complex. Like it's a very complex mm -hmm. fragrance to me. But they've done it so well. Yeah, so well. I agree. That's a really good one. That's why it's so high up. Yeah, on the list. Of course, we're down to number three. Number three. The Leighton Original. There you go. The famous Leighton. This used to be like my number one of all time. I have a different number one at the moment mm -hmm. um, for a while now, but Leighton, I feel like you can't go wrong. Do you think that this is like a mass appealing? Like as much yeah, as yeah. personal? I, I think it probably was one of the first uh, mass appealing from, from, from them, yeah. but still maintained the, the, the niche edge. quality. But it was, it was more, it was meant to be more universally appealing to, to other yeah. perfume type of yeah, fragrance aficionados. No, aficionados. Aficionados. <laughs> aficionados, oh my god. I totally agree. I think it's definitely uh, mass appealing and it will appeal to a lot of uh, a lot of different people, but it still has the edge of being a niche fragrance. And the performance. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. For me, this is very sexy. The vanilla, the cardamom, the woodiness, like it's very sexy fragrance to me. <laughs> she knows the PDMs. <laughs> <laughs> Number two is from the lady side. This is a beautiful, beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And definitely feminine. I don't, I don't think guys can pull this off. <laughs> I wore it to work once and <laughs> my man just said, what oh, you? why do you want to smell like that? <laughs> <laughs> can you step back from my neck? Why do you want to smell like that? But you're sniffing my neck. This is Delina. <laughs> Delina, Delina, Delina. Uh, yes, the ride or die Delina. Beautiful Delina. I think it is one of the most beautiful fragrances for women. It's it's femininity in a bottle. The bottle it speaks for is. itself. It's pink, plush, rosy, <laughs> peony. For me, it's, yeah, the bottle just embodies the fragrance. I've smelled this on women at work, you know, I work I on the upper side. I remember watching, I think it was, I think you did a video with Tim. Yeah. You said like, on the skin, it turns into like an aphrodisiac. It's, I totally it's, agree. It's just <laughs> feminine, it's, yeah. it's, it's intoxicating. Yep. It's it, it's it's soft, but it's not. It's got rose. It's maybe peach or apricot or something. It's just yeah. beautiful. And it has and that le that uh no not lychee rhubarb note that kind of gives it a sour little touch mm -hmm. to it, which makes it kind of different. It may sound like we're describing something very soft and feminine and maybe boring. It's not. It's just yeah. Yeah. the sillage that you will leave walking around wherever you wear this is going to be amazing. Yeah. You ladies. And for me, this is like one of my biggest compliment getters ever. Like it's my fragrance that I wear when I, I just want to appeal to everyone. Like I want people to come up to me and be like, what are you wearing? Awesome. <laughs> slay them, Demi, slay them. Okay. Show you. All right, my number one. Dun, da, da, da. Right now, Herod. Herod. Herod, for me. First of all, I'll ask you, how do you feel about Herod? It's a wonderful, wonderful tobacco. Yeah. It was my first introduction into Papon de Morley many okay. years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In around 2012, I believe. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's definitely one of the finest tobacco fragrances on the market. Yeah. It should be on everybody's top 10 
I agree. tobacco fragrances. I totally Then agree. it's got the beautiful vanilla yep. in there at the end. I get from this fragrance, I get like this kind of almost like a fruity cherry sort of smell, like a uh, cherry, cherry tobacco. I always say like a cherry cough syrup, but that, okay. that makes it sound bad. So I don't <laughs> like saying that too much, but like there's almost like this kind of fruity cherryness to the fragrance and it's just, it's addictive, it's sexy. Whenever I catch a little whiff of it, like a little sillage, you know, it, it intoxicates me, that's me personally. Mm -hmm. uh, I find this fragrance just irresistible. And definitely, definitely one of the better performing Parfum de Molly. Oh, 100%, 100%. Next and video, I, the best performing Parfum de Molly. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Next year, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I personally love wearing this myself, even though this one is marketed towards mm -hmm. men, but I, I don't really care. I like wearing it myself and so, smelling it on a man, so. Do you think you'll come next year if they do this again? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Any excuse to come back to New York? I'll All right, be here. So I will definitely see you tomorrow night. Thank you so much for coming of course, over. Of course, of course. Thank really, you for having me. You're beautiful and you're you're a good girl. I, I you know, much love to you. Thank you're you so awesome much. and uh, I always got you back, okay? Yeah, of course. All right. Same, same. Carlos <laughs> is fantastic. And kisses to mum. Oh, of course. <laughs> Hi mum. <laughs> is she gonna die from that shadow? <laughs> yeah, she's gonna she's gonna absolutely like <laughs> fall on the floor, have a heart attack probably. Awesome. I hear that she hears my song playing in the other room when you watch my videos, mom. Yes. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. That's Demi Rowling and BFL's top 12 Parfum de Molly fragrances. Mm -hmm. Do hope you enjoyed. If you don't know who she is, she just reached 100,000. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> There's the 100,000 Club. I want to get there one day. Oh, yeah. I'm halfway there. <laughs> yeah, of course. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. Go show some love over at her channel, Demi Rowling. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon so you don't miss notifications and reviews, the constant giveaways, and all the fragrance fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye, guys. Awesome. Yes.